Uh, this summer I'm overseeing a research project with Hunter Noren. He's a marine biology major and a uh, senior, class of 2012. Uh, and he and I are doing research on coral reefs in the Florida Keys, specifically studying white pox disease and elkhorn coral in the Florida Keys. Yeah, I've been interested in coral reefs and diving since I was 13, which definitely led me to come to Rollins because for the field experience and all the opportunities we have close to being in Florida. The Student-Faculty Collaborative Research Program has an opportunity for students and faculty to conduct research together in a collaborative manner where the students are active participants in the research planning and their research activity. Uh, and it's an opportunity for students across campus to interact with faculty in their discipline of interest and to get research experience that they can apply to their careers at Rollins and to careers in graduate school. The um, student faculty program is a great program. It allows us to work with a professor and a major uh, with research that they are currently doing and allows us to get a feel of what they're actually doing. This project is based on um, the ecology of white pox disease and it's funded by the National Science Foundation Ecology of Infectious Disease Program and we are investigating white pox disease in the Florida Keys and all the ecological uh, aspects of that disease. So what is the source of the disease? Uh, what are potential vectors and reservoirs for the disease in the marine waters of the Florida Keys? Dr. Sullivan and I have been working on the coral reef disease, white pox, which um, is caused by bacteria which we have up here um, that goes on the reef and causes these lesions. So we went down to the Keys this summer to sample the different corals to see if we could find the, the bacteria that causes this and to see where it comes from and how it's affecting the reefs and how it's causing disease. When we went to the Florida Keys this summer as part of the student faculty research, we went to a reef uh, in the Middle Keys, and what our plan was, we went in the early summer, and we did not expect to see white pox, because white pox is very much temperature associated. So when the temperatures get warmer, the corals get stressed, and they show signs of disease. So we went in early summer in hopes of getting baseline information about the coral community and the microbes associated with the community before disease. So we went to the reef and we collected uh, mucus from the surface of corals. And corals have mucus, just like humans, and it's their first line of defense, just like humans. So they're covered with this mucus layer that's loaded with bacteria that protect them against pathogens. And then sometimes a pathogen becomes incorporated in this mucus and can cause disease. Uh, after diving the keys, we had to filter and process all the samples in order to get their genetic fingerprint, which would later be compared to other fingerprints of bacteria we found uh, during later sampling. So the National Science Foundation research money that I have is for a five-year research study, and this is year one, so we're just getting started. And so over the next five years, we'll continue to go out to the reefs on a regular basis. I have funding for, un for undergraduate students to go to the Keys with me uh, every year, for at least one student a year. So that includes funding that will pay for their, their stipend, their summer research pay, as well as for all the travel to the Keys. Uh, and allow them to be active participants in the project. I've been to the Keys several times with the various classes with Rollins, so it showed me not just the lab aspect, but also the various field aspects, which is pretty great. <laughs>